All right, welcome back to the 2021 PJ Championship here at the Ocean Course, Kiowa Island, South Carolina. We are joined by Lucas Herbert. Lucas posted an even par 72 this afternoon, uh, just give me this morning, and he is four over for the championship. Lucas, um, you just talked about how exhausting it was. It, the, you know, was it a mental exercise? I'm sure there's actually some physicality to it, too. That's a long walk out there. What kind of uh, overall, what kind of combination is that for for a player of your stature? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's both. Um, you obviously get, like, we teed off on one, so you get a nice stretch there from, like, five through 13 all downwind, and you can kind of get it going. And it, it's still tough, but you've, you've got to keep pushing hard because you know that you've got 14 through 18 coming in. Yeah. And you're just feeling how hard that wind's picking up. And, you know... The amount of anxiety that you sort of got waiting for that 14th tee shot and everything that comes after it, um, it's pretty scary. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I just feel like I've just gotten out of a fight and I've won. You know, it looks like I'll probably make the cut. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I've had a win. Have you ever had such a level of satisfaction posting an even par number as you did today? <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of a funny story with today. Um, I turned up in some, like, just casual clothes to do some sort of some warm-ups and whatnot. And I got to the course and realized I left my golf clothes at home. Uh, so I had my friend drive back and get them and bring them back. So I missed basically half my warm-up. And I got on the range and straight back into the wind. And I think I hit about four two irons in a row over the left fence. So I FaceTimed my coach with like nine minutes to my tee time going, how do I fix this? There's something really, really wrong. How do I fix this? And it was like, we just had a laugh because it was like, well, it, it can't get any worse. Like, this is going to be a fun day. We're going to be shouting four left a lot. And then all of a sudden I'm out there like hitting. I, don't, I really don't think I missed a shot through the first 13 holes. So um, it was, it was kind of funny, really, that it sort of all came from that. So in retrospect, I don't think you – sounds like you didn't know it was happening at the mom, in the moment, but what got you on track out there? What were you doing well that allowed you to – you know, it looks like you had about five or six birdies in the first 11 holes. Yeah. Um, I feel like we played the wind really nicely out there, just sort of um, judged how much the effect it would have on it and um, made some really good committed swings at, uh, at a few tee shots that were definitely daunting for me out there. Um, having hit a couple of poor ones yesterday, you kind of stand up on the same tee with a similar wind and, and the same club, and it, um, you can get some, some sort of feelings coming back. So... It was good to sort of make really nice committed swings off those tee shots and get them in play. And then um, I hit some, some really nice drives down there on the par fives that allowed me to take advantage as well. So, yeah, I, th I think we did that. We just It's one of those golf courses where you've you got to get a little bit lucky with if you hit a poor one. You know, I hit a couple of poor ones coming in on, on 15 and 16, and I get away with bogeys there, whereas you hit, those t you hit those or you make those bad swings at a different point in the round, and they can be a triple straight away. So... You've got to get a little bit lucky that your bad swings are at the right time and they happen to get into a, a decent position where you can maybe make bogey out of it. But um, a little bit of luck and then, yeah, just really tried to focus mentally and, um, and just know that it, it was tough out here. And if I was going to make birdies, like that was going to jump me a long way up the field. Did that start in retrospect, just free you up to do what you needed to do, that you, there wasn't a lot of forethought? It was just going out, reacting, you know, kind of spur the moment type play and and that allowed you to get off to that type of a of a great start i think so yeah i think it was almost that there's nothing to lose attitude um it was i mean it was so bad on the range that you're kind of sitting there thinking well if we go and play badly i know i, I know what went wrong you know that it, it's it's not as if you're sort of playing nice and you know throw away an opportunity to make the cut at a pga championship here so yeah it was sort of it was a bit of that attitude of like well we got nothing to lose um you know may as well just make some free golf swings and, and see how it goes. What, did, what was your, uh, your coach's thought when you called him nine minutes before and you're like, this is, it, it seems like uh, things are astray. What, what was his one piece of advice to kind of get you to where you were able to lock in? Uh, we seemed pretty unhappy because I woke him up at about 11 p.m. in Australia. So uh, once, once I kind of woke him up, I think it was just around like just trying to feel like I turned off the ball a little bit better. I think here in the wind... Um, you obviously play so many holes into the wind and you, and you get used to hitting so many balls really low. Um, you can kind of get everything shut down a little bit, trying to just get it even lower. So I just feel I probably wasn't turning well enough off the ball and then, you know, as a result, just hitting everything left. So that was kind of my one swing thought I felt like for the day was 
just feel like I get a nice turn off the ball and then, you know, that's, that's all I can do, just commit to that. Commit. Well, you look good for a guy who didn't have his wardrobe with him <laughs> as of uh, 10 minutes before tea time. So thank you for uh, looking nice, dressing well, and playing pretty darn well, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Have a good afternoon, sir.